Hello and welcome to the channel, uh, the Fashion Tech Channel. We are starting our series uh, on AI and I'm going to start with vMake. We're going to jump right into the software, vMake.ai. And what you're seeing here is some of the projects that I've worked on. But just so you can get a little bit familiar, uh, we are using the, um, the AI fashion models part of the program. There are several parts of the program. As you can see here, you got the AI model, image quality enhancer, background remover. This software is not just for, um, you know, creating avatars and you, using them in uh, AI. You can also do a lot of photography editing features in the software. So I'm just going to go through right now my uh, archive of some renders that I've recently done. You've probably seen some of these on uh, Instagram or, you know, if you're following me on Instagram or if you've seen uh, previous YouTube videos, these are just some of the photos that I've rendered recently. I'm just going to bring one uh, reasonably posed photo in and we're going to see that you have options. Once you upload the photo, you have options to select the model. Uh, what you can see in the photo portion of the window is that the actual outfit is uh, blocked out in green. So those are the parts that will not render. So if there's anything that you want covered in green that you don't want it to be rendered, you can actually uh, add a little highlight there. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick a few models. I'm going to um, use three different models so that you can see in three different ways that, uh, you know, what it generates. It does cost three credits. So right now I'm not using the free version. I am using the paid version and I'm going to go ahead and leave the background that we have here. And it does take about two minutes each. So they come out in a queue and you uh, can, you know, go pour your coffee in the morning or, you know, get a bite to eat or change the baby's diaper, whatever it is that takes 10 minutes uh, and come back and see how quickly that it does uh, give you options. So now in the options, I did pick models that were a different skin tone than the uh, actual render. I wanted to see how that came out. So because the skin tones are a little bit different, it did give me in the midriff area sort of a you know, an additional coverage, uh, you know, to change the color to a darker color uh, than the skin color. So it kind of did not uh, understand what was going on in the picture, but this one it did. So you have to make sure that you kind of match what you're trying to achieve. If you don't have a white model, then like a mannequin white type of color model, then it's uh, easier for the AI system to understand colors that are similar if you're using skin tones. So because of this, I'm going to go back into the program. Uh, you know, if I want to add a, you know, a waistband or some kind of banding to the picture, I can use these, but for now, I'm not going to be able to use them. There's only one. So I'm showing this to you to show you that you do need to be a little bit sensitive uh, to the pictures that you upload and the models that you choose. So because of this, I'm going to go back and I'm going to go ahead and generate with a different model. So it just gives you the opportunity to make changes. It does use your credits. So please be wary of, uh, if you are having a paid subscription, then uh, use the credits wisely. So these are some of the things that I'm going to point out to you. I'm going to use, um, brown skin models and I'm going to use again three models and I'm going to change the background so you can see. So the background is optional. You can keep the background or you can change the background uh, to something that they give you. So right now it's just a white background and these are the renders that it came out. So kind of understood a little bit more about where the skin is placed on these different models and it's the same model but they give you a variation of hair. Uh, you can see that that's a lot of hair and it added a camisole. So sometimes the AI does a little bit, uh, you know, thinks a little bit too much. But hey, maybe I wanted to use that cute little camisole underneath, um, you know, but these pictures are stunning. 
Um, they give you the same composition. They change the lighting just a little bit to be more even to what is going on in the actual uh, model portion of the photograph. But you can see that whatever was highlighted in green, this is the part that doesn't change, which is what you want. So you want to make sure that you have everything covered on your garment before you start the AI process. So this one I liked a lot. And um, that one is not too bad. But again, it gave me something on the waistband. So this uh, AI system is sensitive to nudity, sensitive to, um, you know, if something seems inappropriate. I actually tried to upload a brown garment on a brown body and it kind of understood it as nude. So you want to definitely make sure that your garments are contrasting to the skin color or you make some kind of designation for um, modesty. So these are some beautiful images. I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can, uh, once I've downloaded a few, uh, you'll see the ones that I actually use in the thumbnail of the video. But now we're just going to go and see some of the other enhancements in the AI. And I'm going to show you uh, in these three dots down here, you can uh, go to your background editing. And I'm going to show you one. I haven't really tried it out that that much but we can just go through one and enhance the image and see what that quality comes out as it does work really fast so um, you're able to make uh, larger images since you if you're using it for maybe uh, we want some clear photos for the web it's better to use it as a uh, a bigger picture then you can kind of do more manipulations with it so if you can see before and after which is side by side, uh, they did lighten up and tone, uh, tone up the photo a bit for me. So it is kind of a little bit lighter. You want to be careful with that because, uh, you know, sometimes it looks a little bit too extreme and I like the contrast one, but in order to get this, uh, enhanced photo, which is a little bit clearer, there's more clarity in the photo and the details and, uh, you can download the larger image. So I'm going to choose to download the free image, which is a little bit smaller and use that in graphics, or I'm going to download the large image and maybe use that for the web if when I want to see something uh, clearly. So if you are actually using these photos for uh, web sales or for e-commerce, then it's better to uh, download a big one if you have the credits. Of course, it's going to cost one, one credit. For the download and then uh, you'll be on your way so I'm going to show a few more enhancements uh, in this area the background enhancements are really cute so if you are trying to just make a photo and give it a little bit more detail in the background you have these cute little uh, quirky background images that you can just replace on the model sometimes they are a little bit better for uh, you know, like I said, for e-commerce or if you're using it for Instagram, if you want to convey a realistic photo, then some of the backgrounds work. I tend to like the backgrounds that don't have anything because these look a little bit too flat, but maybe it's something that you're into or maybe it fits the aesthetic that you have going on on your website. Like that one's cute. It's got a little depth of field uh, to it. And, you know, she kind of looks like she's in a real background instead of just a flat photo on the back, but some of them are very, uh, you know, like that one. It looks like she's kind of standing in a real room. So you have a lot of options here for backgrounds, or you can just do background color, which is something that I chose later on. Like this looks, you know, the coloring is a little bit off with the picture, but you might have something where this works. So for me, like uh, this is kind of the same kind of color story so I do sort of like that one and you can toggle on before and after to see the effect so I don't really have the shadow behind that or you know some of the details that it would be for just a plain background and um, this is V make guys so you can be in here you can uh, manipulate a lot of your 3d images a lot of 3d 
3D users in, uh, I want to say, e-commerce, people are starting to use this to make their 3D garments look realistic enough to sell on e on an e-commerce garment. So this is kind of for like made to order or something of that nature where when you purchase, then they make the garment. For right now, this garment is not made, but you can actually buy off of the visual. And this is what a lot of people do, um, are starting to do more of. So just the basic colored background is... Um, you know, something that I tend to like because then, you know, even though I don't get the shadow, I might be able to blend it a little bit uh, in Photoshop with the other photos so that I can get kind of that depth uh, that you would get from someone actually standing in front of a uh, photo, photo backdrop or something like that. But you can also do custom colors. So if your brand has uh, branding colors or if your website has certain colors, you could be able to kind of coordinate with that or to you know select your own color there's a little square up here where you can select your own color and uh, you can drop that in for your images so it does go with your branding and it does make things really simple and intuitive uh, with the way that it's laid out so this is something really uh, I personally use of course you can see my credits you can see that I just use a few of them to show you how it works but I do use it often and um, you know, I like the way that it flows. So if you like this video, you can go ahead and travel over to VMake AI and start your AI journey. Bye-bye.